уважаемая комиссия. Dear members of the State Commission, the Soyuz crew members are ready for the examination today on the Soyuz simulator. What is the number of the crew? Prime crew expedition 4950. Good. Do you have any questions? No, we don't have any questions. Good luck, and you can take an examination ticket now. Thank you. vehicle so that's a little more challenging than we had in the shuttle um, it's been great working with the team over here that's probably been the highlight just working with all the trainers and the crews and everybody in front of me that I'm learning from um, but in general it's been a great training flow it's a lot longer than the shuttle flow so that's another difference um, but it's just the way they do it and uh, it's a good good training flow and we're ready to go and now we want to take a traditional photo Thank you very much, dear crew members, good luck. Dear colleagues, this way, please. Seven, Timothy. Hey, Donna, how are you? Thank you. You can take an examination ticket right now. to be ready for all types of emergencies and contingencies. I think you are. You need to work together as a team. We'll be testing your teamwork skills as well. You need to be ready for any type of a situation, just like I said. Good luck. Good luck to you. I have a question for all crew members. Why did you choose such a call sign? We chose our call sign a year ago on August 19th. It is the name of a mountain in Israel, Holy Land. 
And it took us a long time to choose what kind of a call sign we want to have, but we made this decision unanimously. Whose idea was that? Do you remember? Of course I remember. But I cannot give you all the information right now. We need to have some mystery. What kind of training did you have to undergo in order to be ready for these types of examinations? We were preparing for this examination just like for any examination here on Earth that a lot of people who professionally are obligated to take examinations have to take every now and then. Of course, we're working on different contingencies and emergencies. Today, we will try to show what we can. We'll try to remember what we know and maybe learn something that we don't know. What is the purpose of these examinations in general? Why would you have them? In this case, I believe this examination shows how we interact, how we work together as a team and demonstrates our skills. But first of all, examination, all examinations that are held for us have the purpose of sh showing how we work as a team. Sergey, this is your first flight. What is your mascot? We decided to take Tepeka MP vehicle in miniature. It is the next generation of space vehicles. How many experiments are you going to perform on the station? And can you please briefly describe most interesting experiments? I don't think we'll have enough time to describe most interesting experiments in brief. It will take a couple of hours. We are going to perform a lot of experiments. Some of these experiments will be performed jointly with our American counterparts. We are going to work together. In about 200 experiments, so uh, I think we're excited about all of them. Um, I'm especially excited about a few things we're going to do to help future exploration. Uh, we're going to work on some tests, some medical equipment, and some other equipment like exercise equipment that will help us as we try to go to a place like Mars down the road. For Shane Kimbrough for NASA TV, this will be your first long duration mission to the space station. How are you feeling about your level of readiness and your pre preparation for spending that much time in space? Yeah, I'm not sure you can ever really get prepared until you actually do it. So uh, um, I'm as ready as I'm going to be. Our crew's ready. We've been training together for a little over two years now. And uh, we're ready to go. So we're ready to get through these exams these next few days and then uh, take a few days off and then get ready to go to Bike North. Thank you very much for your questions, dear crew members. Thank you very much for your answers. And now we need to take a traditional photo. <laughs> Director of the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center, Mr. President of the State Commission, the backup crew of the next expedition to the ISS is ready for the qualification examination. Crew Commander Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Mazurkin. Good morning. Good morning. Please take an examination ticket. Do you 
have any traditions that you follow before examinations? When I was studying at a military school, don't have your hair cut before the exam, don't shave before the exam, but there are so many cameras here today, so we couldn't follow those traditions, so we're taking only good mood with us. What will be the worst emergency situation for you during the examination? And what, exam uh, what emergency situation are you waiting for during this examination? Well, uh, as you know, we can get an app for a simple emergency case scenario. So we have to be prepared always for all emergency scenarios. Well, for Mark Vandehei, for NASA TV, a NASA astronaut for the backup of the Expedition 49 crew. How does it feel to be preparing for your final six months before your own space flight with the Expedition 51 and 52 for the next spring? It's a great day. There's been a lot of training to get to this point. I've got a fantastic group, and I'm really looking forward to launching with these two other great gentlemen in six months.